welcome to this edition of Student TV. I'm your host, Alethea Francis from Nelson High School, joined by co-host Ryan Ridley from Lester Lee Pearson. And it's a show that we've all been talking about. That's right, Ali. We've got the Bare Naked Ladies today, and we've also got uh, exclusive footage of the uh, Pet Walkathon. But uh, to start things off, we're going to be uh, heading down to Sears Chow, and she'll inform us about rollerblading. Next is Bare Naked Ladies at Massey Hall, and an interview in their own tour bus. Uh, I'm Simpsons, and this is Eaton's. And that's Sears. That's <laughs> good. Hi, I'm Sears Chow, and we're in the tour bus with the Bare Naked Ladies, Tyler and Ed. Hey. It's good to be here. We're three very powerful department stores, except for uh, you changed the, your, name, your name to the Bay. Yes, I did. Yes. I felt the tradition of the Hudson's Bay Company would stand behind my well, you products. Well, it's had 325 years of exploitation. <laughs> I'm Ed. I'm Tyler. And we're in a band called Bare Naked Ladies. Isn't that nice? Okay, so how did the group form and where did the name come from? Oh boy, the two good questions right <laughs> off the top. <laughs> well, the group formed back in the... Uh, uh, back in the day when I was a teenager. Yeah. What was before that I had status and before I had a pager. That period when uh, the Earth... Is it the, uh, crust, the crustacean period? Or no, whatever? crustacean is a... It's uh, an actual thing. It's an, uh, yeah. What it's, would you call the formation the, of the Earth time? The uh, Precambrian pre pre time is a particular period. Now it's yeah. a particular period in in the uh, evolution of the Homo sapiens. Oh, uh, not of bare naked ladies though. or the planet. Oh, oh, okay. Well, maybe you should tell the real story. Okay, uh, back in the Renaissance, when uh, things were getting really lush and exciting with painting, and uh, people were getting very into detail and stuff like that, Steve Page and I were uh, but babes at the time. This is several hundred years ago. Uh, you can well imagine we were quite young, and uh, I was a lute player, a famous lute player, oh. for, uh, and Tyler was a court jester. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, we decided we should make a little orchestra, uh, play some classical music of the day, uh, which then became classic rock. Yes. And now you can hear us <laughs> on classic rock stations that, that play the real classic rock, the 300-year-old classic rock, which is commonly known as classical music. And speaking of classical rock, the name Bare Naked Ladies was actually found ca um, carved in a cave. That's right. Right by Ed's house in Scarborough. Yeah. There's the Scarborough Caves out there, and uh, they, there was a message there. You all know the Scarborough Caves. The Scarborough Caves, very famous. <laughs> you know, there's the bluffs, there's the town center, and there's the caves. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the name Bare Naked Ladies was carved in there, and Ed, Ed Steve said, well, why don't we call a band then? Well, it, it actually didn't say Bare Naked Ladies. It said, it was, it was in some sort of ancient tongue. And then I actually found the Rosetta Stone. And I, I broke the code and realized that it said Bare Naked Ladies on the wall, so we had to call the band that. So what was your greatest challenge? The greatest challenge? i uh, finding the Rosetta Stone. Yeah, that actually. was a tough one, yeah. It was sort of like a, you know, video game-esque in its scope. You know, yeah. you had, you had, it was like mist or something. You had to go through all the different rooms and the, you know. We have challenges every day. Um, I don't know what our greatest, our greatest challenge is, is just doing this all the time. Maintaining creativity uh, during periods of intense exhaustion from doing this. Yeah, uh, like we love to do this, um, but you do it so much, you tour constantly, you're on the road for six weeks and you do a show every night in a different city. Um, and the beauty, the beauty of it is, Every night, there are thousands of people who come out to see you and who love the music and love the show. Um, so the hardest challenge is, is to find the time and find the creativity and find the energy to, to give what those people deserve every night. So where else are you guys planning to tour this year? All over. Uh, this, this tour's got about five weeks left in it, and it takes us through some of the northeastern U.S. and up through the prairies of Canada. Uh, finishing off in the West Coast in Victoria and Vancouver. Uh, then we take a couple weeks off and head over to England for a month. Um, That's a wing on over to England to jam. Get to jam with, with the Stones. Correct. <laughs> we do some shows in England and Scotland um, and then back for more touring around North America. Okay, so um, Old Apartment and Shoebox um, on your new album seem to be like relate to your personal experiences. Is there any significance to these songs? I think for old apartment for Steve it was uh, a little bit of longing for uh, simplicity in his life. 
but also it's a song about you know life not being that great back in the day you know before uh, you know if you when, when you make it any 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 sort of change from a uh, uh, sort of a low rent maybe living situation or you haven't quite figured out what you're gonna do and you have those in-between times mm -hmm. transitional phase before you become something Sometimes I think those days can seem nostalgic to you when like, wow, I didn't have to worry about anything. Yeah. I didn't have to pay my mortgage. You know, I didn't have to worry about my, uh, my kids running around or anything like that. And I think that's sort of along those lines. So thank you, Tyler and Ed, for talking to us. You're thank welcome. you. Welcome, Sears. Pleasure. This is Sears Chow for Student TV. Do you have any rituals before you do a concert? Is there something you have to do? Well, we we sacrifice a lamb. Um, we sacrifice uh, um, teenaged uh, student TV hosts a lot uh, <laughs> before we go on stage. We have a sort of a, a barbecue ritual. <laughs> That's right. We make up the hamburgers and they eat them. Yeah. But, uh, we don't uh, tell anyone though. Yeah. Does it taste good? Do you like it? Sometimes we sing a little bit to get warmed up, or we. Uh, we bug Kevin, the new guy. Yeah. That's, that's kind of a ritual before we go on stage every night. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything you would like to tell all your fans? And um, is there anything you would like to tell people who want to pursue a career in music? Sure. To all our fans, past and present, thanks for listening. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, in particular to our friends past, if you really liked Gordon and you kind of slipped off the band a little bit, Check out the new album, Born on a Pirate Ship. You really might like it. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's not uh, Bush or Everclear, or it's not, uh, you know, Smashing Pumpkins, but it's Bare Naked Ladies. And uh, we think it's cool. <laughs> um, what, anyone wanting to get into music, it's fun. If it's an excellent it, job. It's great. And absolutely do what you like to do. Don't try to pick up on any trends or do what other people are doing because you'll hate it. Um, do things that you like and that way even if you don't get lucky or get the break or, or you know you're still enjoying yourself and uh, as long as you enjoy yourself and you're motivated to do it you will get lucky I think <laughs>